Hallelujah be unto your name. Hallelujah be unto your name. Hallelujah be unto your name. We glorify you, God. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you and we bless your name, Lord. We thank you, Father, for all those that have gathered and all those that are on their way. God, we thank you for journey mercies as they travel to this place, God. We thank you and we give you praise, Lord. We honor you, God, for all that will take place, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the praise and worship that will go forth, God. Oh, God, we give you praise and we give you the honor, God, to the audience of one. God, we magnify your name. Lord, we thank you even for the tithes and the offering, God. We thank you, Lord, for the blessing that will go forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for the word. We thank you for the word that will go forth, God, to, cl to cleanse lives, God, to heal lives, God, to deliver God, to set free God in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, we be so careful to give you the praise. We'll be so careful to give you the honor. We'll be so careful to give you the glory in Jesus' awesome name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's stand for the reading of the word. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 25. Hallelujah. When you are there, say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Is there on the board? Let's begin. These are also Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Ezekiah, the king of Judah, copied out. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter, the heaven for heights and the earth for depth, and the heart of a king is unsearchable. Take away the draught from the silver, and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Take away the wicked from before the king, and his throne shall be established in righteousness. Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king, and stand not in the place of great men. For better is it that it be unsaid unto the, thee, come up hither, then thou should put lower in the presence of the prince whom thine eyes have seen. Go not forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what to do in the end of thereof, when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and discover not a secret to another, lest he that hear it is put to thee to shame, and thy infamy turn not away. A word filthy spoken is like an apple of gold in pictures of silver. As an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold, so is a wise reprover upon the obedient ear. As the cold of snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that send him, for he refreshes thy soul of his master. Whoso boasts himself of the false gift is like clouds and winds without rain. By long forbearing in a prince persuaded, as a soft tongue speaketh the bone. Hast thou found honey? Eat so much as is significant for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomited. Withdraw thy foot from thy neighbor's house, lest he be weary of thee, and so hate thee. A man that bears false witness against his neighbor is a maul and a sword and a sharp arrow. Confident is an unfaithful man in a time of trouble. It's like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. As he that taketh away the garment in cold weather and as a vinegar upon nitrate, so is he that singeth songs to a heavy heart. If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he is be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward thee. The north wind driveth away rain, so doeth an angry continent of a backsliding tongue. It is better to 
dwell in the corner of them with a brawling woman and in a wide house. As cold water to a thirsty soul, he opens it the good news for a far country. A righteous man falleth down before the wicked. It is as a troubled fountain and a corrupt spring. It is not good to eat much honey. So far men to search their own soul. Glory is not glory. He that has no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Amen. May God add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. Amen. Amen.
heavens maker of the heavens there is none like you my soul longs for you and i believe holy is your name the most beautiful none can stand
rose again for me. Now you are sitting on your heavenly throne. Soon you will be coming home. You're beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. you're beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. When we arrive.
Jesus, what a beautiful name. Jesus, what a beautiful name.
an abundant grace that blows all fear away. above all, a name above our sicknesses, a name above failures, a name above diseases, a name above cancer, a name above COVID-19, a name above every evil, a name above witches, a name above wizards. A name that is above all names. Jesus. What a beautiful name. Indeed, a name above depression. A name above frustration. A name above fear. A name above lack. What a beautiful name. Jesus, what a beautiful name. glorify your holy name. We bow before your presence and we say you are God and you live and you are real. You never fail. We say indeed you are so beautiful. Be exalted Father in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. We're going to celebrate what Jesus Christ did for us this morning. We are celebrating our Lord. He finished it all. Yeah. It is finished, he said. And I want you to believe it. Believe it. We are just using this element to remind ourselves one more time that he has finished it. As the elements are passed to you, just call them. 
and start speaking to yourself. You have heard the sermon. Our bishop have preached it over and over and over and over. You have heard. Let's make use of it. I want you as you hold those elements, start telling yourself, Jesus Christ finished it and I believe it. His body has been broken. Mine is not going to be broken by any disease. It doesn't matter the name. It is a name. And his name is above every name. His body has been broken and he said it is finished. And that's it. Let all men be liars, but my God remains true. He doesn't make mistakes. He knows exactly what he said. It is finished. I want you to use this time, including those of you at home. Take any element that you are using to, to do communion. Just go on and grab it and hold it and say, I'm using this as my point of contact. And I'm declaring it is finished. My mind will not be broken. My body will not be broken. Amen. Nothing about me will be broken. Amen. I will not lose my sight. Amen. I will not lose my hearing. Amen. He finished it and I know it is my time of the miraculous. Amen. It is my time of healing and health. He finished it and I believe it. Amen. Just tell yourself that. Just speak it over yourself and declare you Just don't hold those elements as just normal. Let it not be a routine. Speak over to yourself. Talk to yourself. Open your mouth and pass a declaration as you call those elements. Say, God, I believe you. Barrenness is not my portion. I will not be barren. Fibroid is not my portion. Unnecessary bleeding is not my portion. There will be no higher near that will be located in any part of my body. Jesus Christ finished it. His body had been broken. And therefore I will have no mental disorder. His body has been broken. And so every part of my body is lined up. He paid for it. He finished it and I choose to believe him. I choose to agree with him. He finished it. I am a partaker of the finished work. I choose to agree with the finished work. And he said if only I believe it will be done unto me. It's not by my power. It's not by my might. It is by his spirit. I believe it. He finished it. My grain is not my portion. Every nerve, every artery, every part of my body is lined up because I am a partaker of the finished work. Jesus Christ did it all. And he declared it. It is finished and forever his word is settled in heaven and established here on earth. It is finished, he says, and I speak it as he has said it. I said, every pain is finished. I am walking in health. His body is broken for me and I know it. And I declare it. His blood is already shed for me. And so I know I'm righteous. Hold the cup that you use as the point of contact and declare it. His blood is already shed for me. And so I am righteous. Every mistake I made before is forgiven and wiped away with the blood. And I know it and so I stand a king and a priest unto God the Father and I declare it I am the righteous and my word comes with authoritative authority I possess my possessions speak unto yourself and believe it and as you declare it this morning so it is unto you as you have spoken it into his hearing this morning so it is unto you he finished it Jesus Christ the anointed one that came with his anointing finished it and said it is finished yes. father we thank you we bless you Lord we glorify your holy name. We believe your word and we celebrate you, Jehovah. Lord, we celebrate you, Jehovah. We just join all the hosts of angels and we celebrate you. We say, let all that is within us bless your holy name. Father, we thank you for your benefits that you are heaping upon us. Because you love us, we thank you. 
And we thank yes. you. And we thank you. It is our miracle. And it is our healing. It is the miraculous divine intervention. Divine restoration of all that we gave up in ignorance. And all that was taken from us, Lord. And all that we agreed to give up. At Jehovah, we say divine exponential restoration of our health. Of all that belongs to us, we are partakers of the finished work. We remain partakers and we speak it forth to the hearing of all and we declare it. We remain partakers of the finished work by Jesus Christ, the anointed one that came with his anointing. And we remain rapturable. Because we are hid in Christ and Christ in God. Thank you, Papa. In Jesus' name, I have declared. Amen. Amen. Let's go and hold the body. Let's make the confession together. I hold this right before you, Lord. As a reminder of your body, which was broken for me. I thank you for bearing all of my diseases and pain. I number myself among the healed. My body is the tabernacle of God, not the house of Zizis. As I eat this bread in faith, I remember you, and by your suffering, I am healed today. Let's partake together. Go on and hold the cup that you use as your point of contact. Let's make the declaration together. I hold this cup of wine before you, Lord, as a reminder of your blood, which was shed for me. Thank you for paying the price for all my sins. You bore my guilt and shame. I now have dignity. I number myself among the righteous. I am redeemed. As I drink this cup in faith, I remember you by your blood, I am clean today. Let's partake together. Go on and raise up your hand and let's declare thanksgiving unto our God. Thank you, Jesus. I do remember you. Thank you for my healing. Thank you for my salvation. Thank you that I am in fellowship with you. Thank you that I am one with my brothers and sisters. Thank you for your life that is in us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. And we just say thank you. We just say thank you. From the depths of our hearts, we say thank you. Thank you that there will be no death in our midst. Lord, we believe your word as it is written in Isaiah chapter 65 verse 20. There will be no more death. There will be no more infant of days in our midst and there will be no old man that does not fulfill his days in the name of jesus christ lord we are partakers of this finished work and we are kings and priests unto god the father and as we have spoken it lord knowing that we have the word of the king is there is power we know you have given us the spirit of power not of fear and you have given us the spirit of love and of a sound mind and we declare it no more infant of days in jesus name we have declared amen, amen. and amen it's time for our offering amen. speak to your offering and your tithes send them on errand Send your offering and your tithes on errand. Your tithe is one-tenth of your income. Your offering is the seed you are sowing. Sow your seed and believe God for the miraculous. It will be unto you according to your faith. Believe it. God never fails. Amen. I want you to know it. God never fails. He is the covenant-keeping God. He will do what he says he will do. He says, bring your tithes and offering, that he, God, will rebuke the devourer for your sake. That is his word. Just hold him by his word. 
God cannot deny his word. And I will tell you why. His word is him. The book of John chapter 1 said, In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. There was nothing that was made that was not made by him. In him was the life. And that life became the light of man. And that light shines in darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend it. Just believe it. Believe it. That is God. Hold him by his word. He will open the windows of heaven for you. If he has to throw the money down, throw the things down from heaven, he will do it. He has done it before. He will do it again. Yeah. It's as simple as that. There's no impossibilities with God. Yeah. Speak over your offering and your tithes and just agree with the word of God. Father, we thank you for the privilege of giving. Lord, as we are bringing our tithes before you, we are saying thank you over and over. Be exalted, be glorified. Heavenly Father, we bow before your presence in adoration and we say thank you. We are bringing our tithes because you have given to us in abundance. And we are sowing our seed in this fertile ground because we believe you. Lord, and we receive, Lord, because we know we are rightfully positioned before you, Lord. Lord, and we receive, Lord, and we continuously remain blessing to the families of the earth as you are blessing us to overflowing. Father, we thank you and we bless you. Lord, we thank you that we will continuously love you beyond every other thing and will continuously walk in complete obedience to your word. Thank you for doing it in Jesus' name we have declared. Amen. Amen. Let's make conf offering confession of faith together. Heavenly Amen. Father, we profess this day unto you that we have come into the inheritance which you swore to give us. We are in the land which you have provided for us in Jesus Christ, the kingdom of Almighty God. We were seen as serving Satan. He was our God. But we called on the name of Jesus. And you us from the power of darkness and translated into the kingdom of your dear son jesus as our lord and high priest we bring the first fruit of our income to you that you may worship the lord our god with them father we rejoice in all the good which you have given to us and our household we have heard your voice and have done according to all that you have commanded us now father as you look down from your holy habitation from heaven to bless us as you said in your word. We believe that we now receive those blessings according to your word. This is our confession of faith in Jesus' name. Amen.
in this place. Won't you honor him and glorify him? Won't you thank him? Won't you praise him? Won't you adore him? Won't you worship the God that won't never fail? Oh, bless his holy name. Thank you, Lord, because he is so good.
revealed word of God will wear forever stand forever stand forever stand Hallelujah. upon him who is our rock hallelujah you know Reverend Ken oh a lot of worship has gone forth and thank you so much every one of you but I just still want us to worship him. Is that okay? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Yes. You know those um, old hymns? Holy, holy, holy. We, we should be able to put that up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. All things are working together for our good and they are working together to take us to a higher level how many of you believe that how many of you believe that amen and we are expecting to go to a higher level in him holy 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 help me hallelujah holy holy
Just only the voices sing the first voice again. Let's just have the voices, everyone. softly God in three persons blessed Trinity Amen Someone here, the Lord has given you a word. Just raise your voice and begin to speak forth that prophetic word from the Lord. I hear the Lord saying that you have had challenge believing that things will turn around for good. And you are still reasoning in your mind how can that be with all the things that you have been through with all the things that have happened around you and it's not just one it's not just two it's multiples and you have heard that he is turning around all things for good and the Lord is saying I am not a man to lie to you in due season all things will work together for your good. You've got to rely on me. I have never failed those that have put their trust in me. I will. I will turn things.
turns around for good. You will look back this day and you will say, indeed, the Lord spoke. And I just like a child believed him. You see no shame because you have made up your mind this day to believe in that which I have spoken to you. The things will be turned around together for good. And I see you that have spoken in your heart. Yes, I know in this situation, but what about the things that I have endured even in the past years? How will that be? And the Lord is saying to you even right now, get ready, get ready, for I will indeed collapse the time. I will collapse the time on your behalf. Those things that you desire to do in the next two, three years, you will see that I will collapse the time and they will be done even this year, says the Lord, for I'm not a man to lie. I'm not a man to lie. Yeah, I have seen even those tears and those pains even in the midnight hour when no one else has seen them, I have seen them all. And as you continue to trust and rely on that prophetic word I have spoken to you, not just today, but in the time past, you will have no regrets. And many will come to you and they will say to you, how did you do this? And you will confidently Share with them. Because you will say it's not just the word of the Lord. But now I have an experiential knowledge. Of that which he has done for me. Says the Lord of hosts. And there will be so many things that will be going on. Even in the next six months in this land. Know that I have prepared and fortified you. My sons and daughters. That you will not be shaken. For I will keep. Those who put their trust in me, Amen. says the Lord of hosts. And Father, we just say thank you. We seal that which you have spoken to us with the blood of Jesus. We're just saying thank you. We're saying thank you. We're saying thank you for the healing of the physical bodies. My God, we're saying thank you for the provision. We're saying thank you for the, for the visions and the dreams that you have given to us in the time past. And Lord, it seems like how will this be? But Lord, we are encouraged because you continue to perfect all that's concerning us. And Lord, even as you have spoken that you will settle us in this season, we just say thank you for divine exponential restoration Amen. of the years we have lost. Amen. Lord, we are just saying thank you. Thank you. For fruitfulness, Lord, we are saying thank you. Ah. For that sudden manifestation of your goodness. We're saying thank you. We're saying thank you. And Lord we thank you even now for the working of the miracles. We are thanking you. That which you did in Philippines. That you are doing in all the nations. My God in our churches. Lord we're saying thank you. You own the cattle in the hills. You own. You own all. And so we're thanking you, my God. We're thanking you that your work is going forth around the nations of the world and many are going to be brought into your kingdom and many will be delivered and many will be set free. Even beginning with the household of faith right here. Lord, us and our household will be brought into your kingdom. We thank you for the household salvation. We're thanking you, Lord. We thank you. Holy Spirit, touch every man. Touch every woman. Touch Every boy, touch every girl. My God, may every one of us have something tangible. Oh, to show forth of your glory. That people will follow us as we follow you. Thank you, Lord. This is our cry. This is our desire. This is our cry, Lord. That you will use us as your ambassadors. That you will use us. This is our cry. Do it for your name's sake, O oh Lord. Holy are you, Lord, all creation, call you God. Word.
Someone you've had a weakness in your legs, just come on out right now as, as we sing this song. It's just flowing, the anointing is so thick. You've had weakness in your legs, in your feet, you've had weakness. Just come on, come on, come on. Holy, come on, come on. Are you Lord? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just do this. All creation, hallelujah. Call you. Worthy hallelujah, hallelujah. is your name. We worship your majesty. someone here you feel like sometimes your heart is skipping like your heart is skipping I need to pray for you right now it's done, you're made whole you feel like your heart is skipping hallelujah you don't have a smooth heartbeat, you feel like it's skipping hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah you're the one, you're the one yeah, come on, overflow, overflow. 
Palakala Basara Bashake Baka, Aniyana Masaka Basi. To, to get your own home and it seems like it's been lingering and you have gone in the time pass the money required is so much and you have a place you're saying you know what is not really critical the Lord is about to give you a miracle you never expected I hear the word of the Lord saying uncommon favor it's uncommon favor it's uncommon favor it is done if you're if you're in that place where you're saying you know what you cannot afford it the truth is that you cannot but the Lord is saying it's all about my uncommon favor for you just come on out this side and just rejoice thank God it's done
creation call you God. seated for a while. Have you wondered how come God gives us a promise? And it seems like within the promise that he gives to us, things happen and happen and happen and happen. Am I alone? Okay. I think about Joseph. He had all these wonderful dreams. And he went through all kinds of problems with his own brothers. They got jealous and they wanted to kill him. Thank God for his grace that they did not kill him. And they sold him. That was not enough. He got to Potiphar's house. He did nothing. Just the grace and the favor of God upon his life and the anointing of God upon his life, the wife wanted to mess him up. And they put him in prison for doing nothing. And years and years and years, 20-something years passed by before he experienced what God told him. Have you wondered about that? 20 something years. What about Abraham and Sarah? Have you wondered why that is the case? I have. God gives the dream. Shows you the visions. And then all of a sudden, things will begin to happen. And then you begin to wonder, what are, what, what, what's going on? I thought the Lord said this. Yes, he did. He didn't change his mind. In the meantime, all these other things are happening. I'm here to encourage us all. Don't give up. Amen. It's just a process. And his grace is sufficient. Please, church, don't give up. He said, all things are working together for our, our good. Yeah. And they are. Sometimes we want, we want to see all the details. But you know, he said, the just shall live by faith. He wants us to continue to trust him. Hmm? And not only that, he wants people to look at our lives and know they went through this, but they are now here. Hmm? That encourages people. And I have a testimony to share with you from Philippines. I think Philippines, they are about 12 hours ahead of us or so. 
And so we had a, we had a service with them last night. And um, some of the people, actually Catherine here, Minister Catherine, and then some of the people in the church joined us on the Zoom. And so at the end of the service, Pastor Ray gave us a testimony. How many years is the, are the churches since Philippines now? How many years? Five years. And I'll tell you what happened. We have been believing God for our own property. Yes. You already know where I'm going. <laughs> We've been believing God for our own property to build our own headquarters church. I'll tell you a little bit. So the first year we went to Pastor Ray's uh, home. Pastor Ray's home is uh, probably from here to the third row across like that. That's it. And then another, another section of it will be the bedroom, the bathroom, everything else. That's how big, that's it. And Pastor Ray married and has uh, how many children? Four children. And they all lived in that little place. So I, I came out from, from the apartment and I went to the, the bus uh, vehicle. I cried. And I couldn't eat all night. I couldn't sleep. I cried. This man loves the Lord so much. And you should see his passion with the young people. And I said, Lord, and he's an architect. You know, he's, he, he's scholarly. And that was all that he could afford in the apartment. And so I went to the mayor. God has given us favor with those in authority in the Philippines. And I told the mayor and I said, you know, I really need a land for our church and for Pastor Ray to build. And... Um, she said, okay, she's going to look, and she did. And uh, we put down some deposit right away. I was so excited. So we went back to Pastor Ray and uh, told Pastor Ray, yeah, we got a land, and we're going to uh, start building. So he said, where is it? So I told him. And he said, that place is a bush. <laughs> and he said, there's no one in the church that lives over there. I was, I was so overtaken, I was a little bit uh, shaken. I was happy that the Lord gave us a land. Yeah. Whether it's in the moon. Yeah. I was just happy. So I said, so what do you, I said, I already put down some deposit. He said, no, we're not, we're not going to do that now because nobody can go there. We don't have money for transportation to pay for the people to drive over there. And uh, nobody has a car in the whole church. Now they do. <laughs> okay. So um, he said, no, 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 get your money back. I said, no, I, I don't want to get my money back. He, she was doing me a big favor. I said, no. So I didn't even tell the mayor till today, unless if she's watching, she will hear it. <laughs> so uh, I almost wanted to say, you know, I love Philippines. The Lord will get us another place to start off in Philippines. The Holy Ghost began to nudge me, no. Remember, every country is unique. So learn the system here. So I said, okay, Pastor Ray, okay, no problem. So we're not going to build over there, no problem. So two or three years after, I think the first next time we came back, I didn't say anything about the land. I was still dwelling on what he did. <laughs> but I, I kept on loving him. So, so the next two years, I believe, the next two years we came back. And then Pastor Ray came to me and said, Oh, Bishop Nicky, can you go back to, <laughs> you know what I'm about to say. Can you go back to the mayor and ask her if we can get the land? <laughs> I said, uh, no, she asked me already and I told her that uh, you don't want the land here. Well, can you go back and maybe she'll change her mind. <laughs> so I did. I went to her. She said, no, when you told me they don't want it, I went ahead and built something for the uh, city. 
It was a huge place, huge place. Because the plan was to have our schools and, and uh, the house for the pastor and then our church. Huge acres and acres and acres of land. Anyway, so they didn't have any, any place until yesterday. Well, yesterday night, their Sunday morning after their service. That's when we had the, uh, at the service with them. And um, so he said he has a testimony. He said, did you remember the prophetic word you gave when? <laughs> and he um, said, the prophetic word was 20 acres, that we will have 20 acres of land. He said, well, I have signed the contract. We have the 20 acres of land. Lord, I received that prophetic word for me too. What about you? <laughs> yeah. So the Lord gave us our land. Amen. Now, you know, I began to think about this. See, I, 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 I tell you, a lot of sometimes my engineering mind would kick in. I'm going through the processes that the Lord took us around. What am I learning from that? How many of you do that? I like to find the lessons learned from all these things. And I began, and I'm, I'm sharing this with you. That's not even in my lesson for today. But the Lord wants, I, I know he wants me to share this. I'm going through all the different countries where we have churches today. And they're all different. They're all unique. And the way he gives us the land in every one of them is so unique. So I'm going through this process because I want to learn. But you know, God is so good. He, he, he doesn't want us to put him in an equation. Amen. <laughs> you already know all that, right? Yeah. Where we can say A plus B equal to 2A. He doesn't want us to do that. So I, I had to rest my case that he is dealing with us uniquely. So we will continue to come back to him, trusting in him, relying on him. Okay? Because the just shall live by <laughs> because I, I'm not able to connect anything. They're all unique. Amen. They're all unique. In some countries, we've gotten land free within a few months. In some places, we have not gotten the land until five years. That's the longest we have stayed with no land. Are you all hearing me? But God is saying to all of us, don't give up on any dream, any vision that he has shown you. Don't you give up. And don't rewrite it. Huh? <laughs> you, you know, you may not give up, but you may want to. Don't. Leave it alone. <laughs> just leave it alone. I don't know. Am I speaking to just me? Okay. I'm going to show you something today. First Samuel chapter 16. Let's go there. Now, I, I, I want to give you a little background. This is the story of what happened with Saul, King Saul. By the way, God did not want the Israelites to have any king. Huh? Because we have the prophets that have been ruling them. They, they get the word from the Lord. And, and, and then the Lord will use the prophets to disseminate what he wants them to do. But they began to cry, we want a king. We want a king like the other nations. But we are different. It's just like in churches, we are not supposed to have um, elections. But when you now want to start doing things like the world does it, guess what? The Lord will leave you alone. Huh? That's right. You have some, some denominations that are now doing elections in the church. When God calls, he calls and he chooses. And uh, anyway, so... He did not want the election with the Israelites, but they did want some. So the Lord said, okay, you want a king? Sure. You get a king. So he, they got King Saul. 
And so King Saul, you know the story, go to um, 1 Samuel chapter 15 and, and see what happened with King Saul. And King Saul made some boo-boos. <laughs> he, he actually, let me show you real quick before we go to 16. So what happened was the Lord told King Saul, when you go to fight the enemy, make sure you kill everything, right? Don't come back with anything. But uh, in chapter 15, let, let, let me read that first. Verse 22 and 23. That's not what King Saul did. He preserved the ones that he thought are good. Okay? Including the king. And the word of the Lord said, And Samuel said, Had the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams for re rebellion who put on your seatbelt that's not good rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft hmm and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he had also rejected thee from being king, period. That's it. And God did not change his mind. Did somebody get that? Amen. Okay. Now, so the Lord said to Samuel, I'm rejecting him. He did not do what I told him to do. By the way, God did not speak to King Saul directly. God spoke to King Saul through Samuel. So when God says you rejected me, he was disobeying who? Samuel. We need to get that in the church. Okay? We, we, had, uh, we have every Saturday, we have the five-fold ministry gift. We have um, uh, fellowship for one hour, and one of the um, pastors shared for about 10 minutes, evangelist rather, evangelist Ngundia, she's out of the state, and she ministered in this area, uh, being accountable as a minister of the gospel to continue to line up in the authority that God has placed over you in the church. And not to walk in rebellion. You do your own thing when you want to. But the church is going here. But you want to do your own thing. But it has to start with the fivefold ministry gift. It was very powerful. I told her to write it up so we can give it out to people. Very, very powerful ministration yesterday. Now, so Saul went out of line. And God said to Samuel... I had enough. By the way, I didn't want you guys to have king, and they said king, and now that's it. It's enough. Okay, so now let's go to chapter 16, verse 1. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long will thou mourn for Saul? I began to dwell on this and say, Why did the Lord say that to Samuel? He was mourning for Saul. You know what I began to sense in my own spirit? He was not mourning for Saul because of what Saul did alone. That's part of it. But he was mourning that he did not pick it up. Did somebody get that? Because if I picked it up, I will not have consecrated him. How many of you understand what I just said? Uh-huh, somebody got it. I could have said, Lord, I, I know where you are. You don't really want us to have a king. I'll just go tell them we're not having a king. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, 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 I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. Have you ever gone through some things that when it's finished, you look back and you say, I knew 
this is what I should have done, but I didn't do it. Am I alone? No. Well, you guys help me. Yes. So I don't feel like I'm alone. Mm -hmm. And you know you have the authority, you have the power to have not done it. Yes. Well, that's the Holy Spirit of God in us, nudging our spirit man. And we want to be able to obey and know the strength of God is our strength. And we can actually stand our ground. I believe that's knowing what I know today. I really, I really believe when Jesus returns, we will know. But I believe that that is more of what Samuel was mourning. Because he, he now looked back and saw what it cost the people of God, the, the Israelites, what they had to go through because they had a king that was not the perfect will of God. It was permissive will. God did not want them to have a king. They chose to have a king. And God will always turn things around to work together for our good. Even when we have made mistakes. Isn't he so gracious? And so the Lord basically said to Samuel, enough is enough now. Stop. We need to move forward. And the Lord is saying to all of us, there's been things we have been through, but now is the time for us to do what? Move forward. Go to Philippians chapter 3. 13 and 14. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind. And reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press. Everyone say, I press. I press. Uh huh. What does that tell you? I press. I press. What is that saying to all of us? Huh? Help me. Somebody help me. Louder. We're going to do it, but it, it, it may cost you something. Uh huh. It may cost some tears, right? It may cost some pushing, right? It may cost something. It may cost some consistency, right? Maybe some toiling. But the grace of God is always what? Sufficient. So I'm going to press. It may cost you feeling like you're bearing a, bringing forth a child. Uh -huh. Because it's, it's really a brain child. <laughs> huh? Somebody here with me. It says, I press, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Mm? And so the Lord basically was telling Samuel, no, no, you need to press now. Huh? There are souls involved. That's right. He's always thinking about souls, Amen. people. So we're not going to stay in our little corner here. <laughs> Morning. Did somebody get it? Because God is where? In heaven. And who is here? You and I. And there are millions out there. They are waiting for who? You and I. <laughs> How many of you understand what the Lord is saying to us this morning? Yeah. Including your own family. Uh huh. That's right. And the Lord is saying to Samuel, okay, now it's enough. The Lord said, How long will you mourn for Saul? Seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel, fill thy horn with oil. What is the oil symbol of? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. 
Oh, I love all my students. <laughs> Holy Ghost. Always look for Christ in everything we are reading, right? Look for him, look for him, look for him. Now look for him. Now, and go, I will send thee to Jesse, the Belemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. I have provided me a king among who? His sons. Now the Lord said, that, that is so powerful, that he already provided. Do they know? What about the father? Does the father know yet? <laughs> Has the Lord provided himself kings amongst here? Presidents of nations amongst here? I believe so. Do they know? No, no, no. We should know. We are different now. See, at that time, they did not have the Holy Ghost in them 24-7. We now do. That's what I was waiting to hear. We now do. But look at this. The Lord said to Samuel, you need to go to Jesse. Now what else? Why, 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 why? Look for Jesus. Look for Jesus. Look for Jesus. And the Lord said, take an heifer with thee. What is that? Say it say loud. One more. There's something else higher than offering. Sacrifice. Who is that? Oh, louder. Aha. Uh -huh. When you hear the sacrifice, you talk about blood, 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 blood. Think blood, blood, right? Now, remember what has happened? There's been a mess, right? And we need to do what? Clean up. How can you clean up? Blood. Blood, sacrifice. Sacrifice. So that the perfect will of God will prevail. Are you guys hearing that? Now, what else? What else is there? And say, I am come to sacrifice to the Lord. Because God the Father will not deal with sin. So there's got to be a sacrifice. Blood must be shed. And call Jesse to the, call Jesse. Call Jesse to the sacrifice. Call Jesse to the sacrifice. What is that saying to you and I? Souls. Souls. Take them to the cross. Take them to the utmost sacrifice. Call Jesse. When you call the man of the household, that includes everybody in the household. Call them to the sacrifice. Household salvation. Huh? Who is supposed to do this? You and I. The Lord is saying, enough of mourning. Get up. Call them to the sacrifice. Are you all hearing me? Okay. Now, let's go. Always, always look for Jesus. Look for Jesus in the text. Look for him. Call Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show thee what thou shalt do. And thou shalt do what? Anoint unto me him whom I name unto thee. Why didn't God just tell Samuel the person? There are eight sons. Why didn't God just tell him the one? Because the just shall live by... We have to continue to know how to hear God. <laughs> no, this is not fast food. This is not drive-through. Uh-uh, uh-uh. A step by step. Remember the winding? We did a study on the winding for the three buildings, remember? No, no, no. No fast food here. God wants us to have fellowship with him. He wants us to hear him. He wants us to long to hear him every day. Right? So he, he, he gives you bit by bit so you continue to come and talk to him. And he said, okay, now I have a son there. Now let's go on. What verse are we at? And, uh, and Samuel did that which the Lord spake. Oh, no, no, there's something else I jumped. Anoint 
unto me him whom I name unto thee. And Samuel did that which the Lord spake and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Comest thou peaceably? Huh? And he said, peaceably. When people see us, do they see us that we always come peaceably? Make peace with all, as much as you can, make peace with all people. Or do they see us and they want to tell a lie that they are not in the house? Huh? Because they don't want any trouble with you. We are people of peace. And people should see us as men and women that bring what? Good news. Peace. Hmm? Why? Because Jesus Christ is who? Prince of Peace. And how many of you know that we are carrying him? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We are carrying him. So we are men and women of peace. So they said Samuel, everything okay? Is there a peace? I said, yeah, 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 yeah. All is well. There's peace. Now, I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. Did you see again? Telling them, come to me. Come with me. Let's go together to the sacrifice. Yeshua HaMashiach. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called call them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass when they were come that he looked on, okay, he looked on all the other seven and none matched what he wanted. And uh, until he said, you don't have another one? So what was going on? Hear me, church. The Lord wants to speak to us every given moment. So we will not make mistakes. That's why he says, those who are led by my spirit, they are sons of God. Romans 8, 14, right? How many of you know we are sons of God? And he leads us how? By his spirit. Where is his spirit? Inside of us. Inside of us. And so they were bringing the sons out. I want to demonstrate something. Can I have, I just need only two of the, of the young people, only two, or anyone, anyone that's young, you want to be young, just coming out. I want to demonstrate something here. So we have all these sons coming out. You, ha you don't have to be a, a, a male. You can just be a woman. Who is going to volunteer? Yeah, 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 thank you. I want the young ones. Thank you, Michael. Can somebody else join Michael? I want the young people. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. You are all looking gorgeous, wonderful. You are handsome, and uh, I just love you so much. Thank you, son. Okay, so... And so here, the first son comes. You're going to be the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then he's going to be the eighth. Okay. So the first son comes. Okay, go over there by Pastor Michael. That's not the one. Okay, number two. Um, I can e e envision Prophet Samuel. He's listening. Who is he listening to? The Lord, he's listening. He's handsome. And he was talking to, he's handsome, he's good looking. And the Lord said, I am not looking at the outward. So he's listening by faith. The Lord said, no, that's not, him. okay. So Jesse, who is it? You don't have any, okay, I have another one. Okay, number three comes. I'm, I'm, I'm stressing on something here. What is he doing? He's listening. He probably is standing straight with no emotions, but he's listening. He's listening to the Lord to speak to his spirit. Man, that's not it. So all the way to number seven. Number seven. The Lord said, uh, that's not Okay, that's not it. That's, he's not the one. Thank you, son. You can go. So he, he turns to the father. Pastor Michael is Jesse. Seven, he said, none of them fit in. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, that's one in the bush. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 he's the one that keeps the sheep. 
the lowest of the, yeah. Oh, he's in the bush. Well, go get him. So David comes up. Oh, that's him. <laughs> him? Yeah, him. I'm about to do a new thing. Amen. The number eight, new beginning, new beginning. Amen. He's the one. Amen. He's the one. That's the one. He, he smells animal. He, 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 we don't count on him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use weak things to confound the Aha, uh-huh. that's the one. That's the one. How many of you hear what God is saying? That's the one. We're not going to go King Saul kind person anymore. Tall, handsome, good looking. All the people around him when he walks around the hill. Oh, no, no. We're not doing that anymore. I'm going to go by what the Lord sees. He sees where? The heart. David was the one serving. David was the one in the bush taking care of the household investment. David was the one walking as unto the Lord. That's the one I want. I'm not looking for beauty. I'm not looking for handsomeness. I'm not looking for anything else. I'm looking to the heart. The one I can trust I can rely on. Thank you, son. And so he anointed David. Many people do not understand these things. When we look at the working of the Holy Spirit, the Bible tells us in Jeremiah chapter 29. I want us to read that 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you. We are out of time already. Say the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. An expected end. That's what the Lord is saying. I did not finish my notes, what I have. But what God ministered to us is what we needed for today. Let's stand to our feet. Father, we just say thank you. That you are working all things together for our good. You have spoken to us that we should reach out for the high calling. We should press. We do not press by our might, nor by our power. It's by your spirit. For your grace remains sufficient. We just say thank you. That you renewed our minds. Lord, we say thank you. Our hearts are filled with so much joy. We say thank you. Lord, for that restoration of lost years. We say thank you. Thank you for the miracle that you have given to us in Philippines and many other countries for the land that you have given to us. We are saying thank you. Even those things that we do not understand how they will be restored, we are saying thank you. Even those things that we don't know how they are going to work together for good, we say thank you. And we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you glory. Lord, that which you did even recently in Nigeria, that the church in Nigeria, they had, they had a woman that was in coma for three days. The church prayed and she came back to life. Amen. Lord, we are saying thank you. We are saying thank you for the miracles. We, we believed you for miracles. We are saying indeed, this is our season that we are different. We are different. And you have given us testimony even to be able to rejoice and say, indeed, the prophetic word is being made manifest. Oh, my God, we thank you for the the land, the 20 acres in, in Philippines. We just say, thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Hallelujah be unto your name. And we are thanking you, Lord, for the healing that took place today. And even the healing taking place even now. We are saying thank you. Thank you for sound mind. 
Thank you, my God. No more lupus in our midst. No more migraine headaches in our midst. Thank you, oh my God, that we believe that we will live a long and fulfilled life in this land of the living. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Every head bow and every eyes closed. If you are here or you are listening or watching from around the nations of the world, whichever method you are using to watch us, I want you to pray this prayer if you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You've got to make him the Lord of your life. He became the utmost sacrifice. He paid for our sins and every penalty of our sins. He took them all that you and I may have abundant life. I want to pray for you. I would like the church, please, let's all pray together this prayer. For those that have not received Jesus, this will be your first time praying this prayer. And I want you to please pray this prayer. Believe that Jesus Christ died for your sin. And in exchange, he's giving you eternal life. Let's pray. Dear God in heaven, Dear God in heaven I, believe I believe Jesus died for me. I believe he rose again that I may have eternal life. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. I receive your forgiveness. I receive the gift of righteousness. I receive the gift of abundance of grace. Fill me with your spirit. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 If you pray that prayer, I would like to hear from you. Please write me. There should be an address on the screen. I want to hear from you. I would love to pray for you each day by name. Amen. I would love to pray for you and not just pray. I want you to send your requests. If you have any prayer requests, send that in. We have prayers ongoing around the clock here at All Nations Living Fountains Church. We pray for you in the morning. We pray for you in the midnight hour. Please send your prayer requests to us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's share the grace together, everyone. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord remain gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace now even forevermore. Amen. Amen. Shalom, everyone. OCN, Word of God to the World.